if you've ever had a pumpkin roll, you know the pumpkin cake roll with the cream cheese spilling in the middle. If you love that, you are going to love this dessert. This cake has so many layers of ooey gooey deliciousness and I can't wait to show you how to make it. To make the cake, we have flour, and this is about two and a half cups of flour. We have baking powder and baking soda, pumpkin pie spice, sea salt, and actually any kind of salt will work, but I like to bake with sea salt. And then we have our pumpkin puree, and this is just regular pumpkin puree. We want just the plain pumpkin, and we'll need about 15 ounces. This is 28, so I'll make some pumpkin waffles or maybe a different pumpkin dessert with the rest of this. And then I have sour cream, and this really makes your bundt cake really soft and delicious. This is regular granulated sugar and some melted butter, some vanilla extract, and then three eggs. And then for the cream cheese filling, this is kind of a fun variation and it's not necessary, but it is really fun to do. These are just white chocolate chips and any brand will do. And then we're going to mix it with some cream cheese, some eggs, and then some vanilla extract. And then for the cream cheese drizzle on top, the glaze, we have just powdered sugar and I'm going to make it with some cream cheese, some butter, and then milk. That is going to be our glaze. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is add our flour. And I like to mix up the dry ingredients separate from the wet ingredients. And then this is baking powder and baking soda, some salt, also our pumpkin pie spice. I have a recipe variation on the recipe if you don't have pumpkin pie spice. It's cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg, and it's a really easy blend. Whisk it together. I'm going to set this aside. The first thing I'm going to do is open this can of pumpkin. And it definitely would have been easier to just have a 15 ounce can of pumpkin here, but um, you know, you just make do with what you got. Here is my pumpkin. I'm going to add half of that. I'm also going to add some sour cream. This just gives it so much moisture. And then our butter. It's at room temperature so that it doesn't cause any problems with our eggs. Sometimes if you put cold eggs into a cake or cookies, it makes the, the butter solidify a little bit and we wanna keep everything just about the same temperature here. Okay, and then I have vanilla extract. And then the last ingredient is our sugar. Go and then add our eggs. And then I'm going to add in the pumpkin mixture into the flour mixture. Tell you what, there is just nothing like fall, like a pumpkin cake or pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins. And if you're looking for more pumpkin recipes, be sure to check out my website. I've got a whole compilation of my favorite pumpkin recipes. So if you're looking for something new, I've got you covered. And there we go. Look how yummy that looks. Okay, and then the pan that I'm using is just a bunt pan. And I think this is a large 10 to 12 cup bunt pan. And I like this one that has like a ceramic edge in it. It does a really good job of not sticking. I almost always have this on hand. And this is a perfect release baking spray and it has flour built into it. And so just a quick dusting of this and then you don't have to butter and then flour the pan. That is super easy. And then I'm going to just try and make this as even as possible all the way around. And then I just like to use back my spatula to make it all nice and even. Dun, dun, dun. And now for the filling part. Okay, and for the filling part, I'm going to unwrap the cream cheese and we need eight ounces of cream cheese. Having it room temperature is really important. This way it will cream together. And then to this, we're going to add 12 ounces of white chocolate chips. And this is basically one. And then to that, we're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla and then two eggs. You can do this in a stand mixer or just by hand. It doesn't look delicious, but I can tell you what, it is so yummy in this cake. Just this nice ripple of cream cheese and white chocolate. We have our cake here. And if you can just 
add it to the top here. Okay, here is the cake when it's baking in the oven. It's about halfway done baking and it just rises up really nicely and you will notice the bubbles around the edges. When you are ready to check it, just use a long toothpick and as soon as it comes out clean, your cake is done. And here is your pumpkin bunt cake after it has finished baking. I'm just going to put it here on the counter for about 10 minutes and then flip it upside down onto a cake pan that I'm going to serve it on. And you can use a big platter or a cake or today I'm using it. Now that you have your cake out of the oven and it's cool, you can replace. This just has a few ingredients and it's pretty easy to make. First of all, we're going to use four ounces of cream cheese and then a couple tablespoons of butter. And to really make this easy, it's best if it's room temperature. It's going to be really easy to cream together. And then to that, I'm going to add in two cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of milk. Uh, the secret to a glaze is that you want it thick enough that it will direct down the edges of your bundt cake, but also thin enough that you do get that drippy part. You can add a little bit of powdered sugar if it's too thin, and you can add a little bit more milk if you need to thin it down a little bit. A lot of it depends on how soft your butter and your cream cheese. Okay, so if you're stirring it and you lift your whisk up, you should have just these little ripples and it should just fall right off of your whisk. So that is about the right consistency. And again, if you need to add a little bit more powdered sugar or maybe just another little half a teaspoon of milk to get that little bit of ripple, that is what you're looking for right there. Okay, and the next thing I like to do is just use one of these decorating bags. I'm going to use a tip. It's just a little round tip. I am actually not sure what that size is. You don't want it to be really big so that you can control the rate that you are letting the glaze out. And you can definitely like just put some on a spoon and drizzle it. I'll just cut the tip off of that there and then put the piping tip in there. And then if you just put it in a little cup, I'm just going to pour this in here. I am just going to create some drips here along the side. And you can certainly make this a thicker frosting too. And then here I'm going to go in the inside too. Then we can just fill this in. And I think it looks pretty when some of them go like all the way down and then other ones just go partially down. And I do have a little bit of glaze left. You can just serve that with your cake. If you have any lines you kind of want to get rid of, you can just take this. There we go. This pumpkin bug cake is moist, tender, full of our favorite fall flavors, and a total chill stopper. For the sprinkles, I'm just doing my favorite fall sprinkles, these yellow, gold, red, and brown sprinkles right here on top. But of course you can do Christmas sprinkles if you're making this around Christmas time. It's drizzled with cream cheese glaze and has a layer of cheesecake swirl baked right into the middle of it, making it impossible to resist. It has just so many layers of flavor with that white chocolate ripple in the middle and then the delicious glaze on the outside. This pumpkin cake recipe just cannot be beat. We've got all the nice glaze there and this dense, chewy pumpkin cake. I'm going to get just a little bit of that cream cheese layer. Take a look at that. Mm. This is one of my favorite fall flavors. I just love pumpkin, anything, pumpkin desserts, pumpkin cake, pumpkin bread. It is really the best time of year. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Every Kitchen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here, and I will show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love, and we'll see you next time. Bye.